Now, after learning the law of variable proportions, we know that there are three stages of production. Stage one is the stage of increasing returns. Stage two is where we get diminishing returns, and stage three is where we get negative returns. Now, where do you think would a producer like to be? Would he be like to be in the stage one as the production is increasing at an increasing rate in that stage, or he would prefer to be in the second stage where the production is still increasing though at a diminishing rate? Or some might actually think that the producer would prefer to be in the third stage. Where do you think? the producer would prefer to be some say he would like to be at point f the others argue he should be at point s wherein he produces o n number of units some might say that he should be at point h where the total product is maximum and he should be producing o m number of units the others say he should be producing more than OM number of units that is in the third stage. But it is important to understand that the, that the producer would always prefer to be in the stage 2 at the end of stage 2 wherein he produces OM number of units. He can easily produce O n number of units, but he prefers to produce O m number of units. Now, why is it so? We know that the producer is getting increasing returns in the first stage. The production is increasing. It is not only increasing, but it is increasing at an increasing rate till point F it is increasing at an increasing rate. After F it starts to become flatter. But when the average product is maximum, when he produces O n number of units, it is still increasing at an increasing rate. So wouldn't the producer like to be at this level of production? Yes, he possibly might want to be at this level but if he produces o m number of units that is if he moves into the second stage we can see that in total he has more number of units so what he can do is he can do more business his sales can increase if he stops at o n num at o n number of units his sales will be lesser in comparison to if he produces OM number of units. If he produces OM units, we can see that NM is the difference that he can profit from. So with more sales and more profit, he can do a better job. So always bear in mind that a producer would always prefer to be at the stage where the second stage ends. He will like to produce OM number of units because if he goes beyond OM, his productivity is actually decreasing. His total production is actually decreasing so he would not like to go beyond OM and if he is stopping production before OM number of units let's say at ON he's stopping himself from giving himself an opportunity to do more business because he can produce more units and do more business at OM so this is where he would prefer to be